Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I have given my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media and how things should be done versus how they should not be done based on my own point of view. And finally, I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And um, in this video blog, I would like to uh, tribute another video to the Tri Dragon Con 2014 season since we are T minus four days away. And uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the Dragon Con badges since. Um, I have always been fascinated at what they look like since each year there is always a new theme and I've always liked that since uh, 2006 when I first went to Dragon Con and um, I wanted to list off of all the different badges uh, that I remember seeing uh, and then I, I want to show you um, the last badge from last year since I was able to hold on to it since um, it has a very special memory so here goes in 2006 when I first went um, the badge that year was a pirate theme and on the picture was um, was a drawing of Marilyn Monroe as a pirate wench and I think that one so far was one of my favorites because a it was my first convention and B again I was obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean so it went with the theme really really well now I do not know what the 2007 badges looked like since I ended up having to sit that year out and I was really really upset about that. Now I did go in 2008 but I didn't purchase a pass that year because I didn't get one in time but I uh, walked in as a regular gawker because I decided to go see the see the 2008 Dragon Con Parade and I did remember that the badges looked uh, they looked like they had a couple of uh, skeletons on them and then somebody said that they were references to X-Men but I don't know and then the year after that was a picture of uh, two evil guys um, from a comic called The Goon and the reason I knew it was from The Goon is because one of my friends Mr. William Brust um, or they call him Conk19 had uh, told me when he uh, volunteered with me in 2010 he said this is from a comic series called The Goon so, and again, that, that badge was in 2009, and the reason, I, I worked at that convention, so I got in free, and uh, I was really thankful for that. And then, um, in 2010, it was a picture of a baby dragon hatching from an egg, and um, he was yawning, and I thought it was one of the cutest badges ever. And I think I still have that one somewhere, but I don't know quite where it is, but it is still one of my favorites. And then... Um, in 2011, it was a picture of a woman in a bikini riding on a dragon, and that one was the worst Dragon Con art that I had seen. I absolutely hated it. And then in 2012, it was a picture of a badge with, um, you know, it looked like something that you would see out of Naruto or some sort of an anime, but he was running away from a big evil dragon, and I think that one again was one of my favorites since. I myself am a fan of anime, um, but I don't know what theme that came from. And then this was last year's badge. It was a woman uh, swimming with a water dragon. And again, I think this one was my favorite. And especially since, I mean, if you look at the details, it has some sort of a language on it. And, and, you know, there are all kinds of fish, and they're under the water. And then the other reason why I'm impressed with this badge is because Mr. Damon Wood was able to uh, get me a press pass, and he got a press pass too. And it just it made me feel really, really special. Um, I'm curious what this year's badge would look like. Um, I'm sure it'll be something um, really, really creative, and I hope it's something that I like. But I'm pretty sure it'll have a dragon theme to it. Um, here are some ideas um, of what I would like to see them do with a Dragon Con badge. I'm thinking since, number one, I'm a Doctor Who fan now, I would really like to see a, <laughs> a, maybe a drawing of a dragon dressed up as Matt Smith and him um, standing in front of the TARDIS. Or maybe a, a dragon dressed up as a Vulcan from Star Trek and he's got the Vulcan brows and he's going live long and prosper. 
Um, and then maybe a maybe an animated picture of Nichelle Nichols. But then again, um, you know, people probably uh, draw these badges based on liability issues, and then they have their own talent as well. So anyway, um, what do you think should be on a Dragon Con badge? Um, please be sure to comment below and like and share what I've said. And don't, oh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And also, happy Dragon Con, and I will see you at the show. Bye.